So Tory Lanez is now finally breaking his silence when it comes to this entire situation. It's been long overdue and it's just not good news. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. It's just one click. Click that button and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast and let's just get straight into this video. So we all know about the situation. Megan Reesley herself spoke on the matter and was reflecting on, you know, the fact that exposing him not only for saying his name, which, you know, I feel like was well overdue within itself, but also that his PR tried to change the narrative even after the situation, which really just shows that there's no empathy for Megan. He had no empathy for her and no remorse, no apologies, nothing. And we have somebody now who has tweeted, um, ladies, if you don't, if you date a man who coined the term demon time and you get, you know, hit by him during demon hours, be accountable for your stupidity. Hashtag Tory Lanez. And then Tory Lanez actually likes that tweet. So let me read it out for you again. Ladies, if you date a man who coined the term demon time and you get hit by him during de- demon hours, be accountable for your stupidity. So. It's funny how this individual, Larry Johnson, just, I don't know who he is, but you're a waste man. But the fact that Tory Lanez is liking this is obviously he's breaking silence and he's now, you know, talking about how he sees the events. And it's so funny how we're very, we're very quick to call out Megan's stupidity, but it seems that Tory Lanez's stupidity doesn't exist, even though it was him who literally pulled that damn trigger and literally caused somebody harm to the point where Megan possibly could have never walked again. But that stupidity isn't even brought to the table at all it's on the floor at this point so it doesn't make any sense and megan there is no stupidity there like at all again if she's not just if she doesn't have an ego problem she's the one who may have caused an argument and then you know is needs to be accountable for her stupidity it doesn't make any sense the story does not corroborate and at tory lanes is speaking out and this is what he thinks about this he hasn't even come online to even apologize my guy was doing quarantine radio every single day a couple months ago and now he's turned into casper the ghost it doesn't make any sense. The maths is just not math, and guys, it definitely doesn't. But the fact that this is what he thinks about the entire situation, I just don't see your career moving forward anywhere. There's no remorse, absolutely nothing, just pure anger, not even any regret. Like, you're liking tweets out here that are advocating for Megan's stupidity. It doesn't look good on you. You clearly don't know what you're doing. Your entire team doesn't know what they're doing because the PR and everything clearly have no minds, like they have no brains if this is what you think is the right passage when it comes to this situation. That if you date a man who coined the term demon time and you get shot by him during demon hours, be accountable for, like, what do you mean by demon hours? Like, what are you talking about? None of, like, it doesn't make any sense. Can we actually deep the madness of what this person is saying? Coining a term of demon hours, therefore, if this something happens between this time, you need to be accountable for your stupidity. The absolute sheer gaslighting is ridiculous here because it makes somebody question their sanity and is questioning their accountability of stupidness when they don't even need to be accountable. It doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna strike the record straight, reiterate this, because I've been doing this in these progressive reports, that Megan is clearly the victim here and Tory is the perpetrator, 110%. Facts are facts, nothing is changing. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. Tory has broken his silence and I think it's absolutely pathetic. It doesn't make any sense and I think it's just a poor excuse. Um, I don't see how this guy's career is coming back if he's not remorseful. If you're not remorseful about a situation, you don't care for somebody at all um, and you're liking these tweets and this is how you're breaking your silence, this is the first thing you're saying, it's going to take a long while for you to get back on track even if there is a track for you in the first place. I just don't see it for you. I genuinely just don't. Let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this. Do subscribe, click that button. Subscribe, subscribe, it's just one click and head over to my Instagram, my podcast and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.